I think my eyes have had long enough to recover. Welcome back to Arcanum. Arcanum. It's been a little bit. Last time we uh, read a glorious book, a Sinong Horror Among the Dark Elves. And uh, now that we know the location, I do believe we are traveling there. Of course, we have our good friends, Virgil and Jormund. Jormund. A wizard whom we uh, rescued of sorts in elven lands up there in the glimmering forest. Now, it has been, as does tend to be the case, a, uh, sometimes I've played Arcanum, and uh, some commenters, viewers, have uh, fretted their little minds that uh, the series was done with. Well, I have another dozen or so hours before I fulfill the RTR request, so as it turns out, your fears for not. But I understand people don't pay attention, and who knows, I might change my mind. So I can help ask these things anyway. And there's the Isle of Despair, Ancient Temple. All these locations we've been to. But a place we haven't been to, Sinong. Uh, why don't we pop over by Kentara first, though? I mentioned this if only because, uh... Greetings to you. Okay. That's cool. Uh, maybe I can speak with Raven and tell her about what's transpired. Ah, it's wonderful to see you again. Hello, Raven. Do you have a moment to speak? Certainly. How can I help you? I'd like to speak again about your of mother's course. vision. What did you want to talk about? Okay, Nimrod. maybe not. What? Bye. That was fun. I thought maybe we could talk to her about Sinog. And about what we read in the book. Guess not. Okay. So, in that case... I probably should have dropped off some of this stuff on nerve pills. Medallion of Beauty. Hmm. A note. Ah, who cares about all this stuff? I don't. I think I've uh, my I've made my opinion clear on uh, my preference for tabletop RPGs over uh, console and computer RPGs. But who cares about your drama and stuff? I'm sure it's uh, meaningful to someone. You can have these nerve pills because you need to calm down. I'm sure. The but this binding of the book is most obviously a fake. Well, why don't you take the fake book then? Hmm. We... you know what? You know what, Jormund? It's not as if we're actually under threat anyway, right? Although you are moderately encumbered. Courtesy of that I identified small armor. I suppose it won't hurt me to teleport. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the barrel's still okay. I'm sure it will be. If it's not, I mean, I think we've got enough anyway to, uh, to handle the game. That's a, uh, that's a fresh take, I know. Wow. Is that what he really thinks? We'll go ahead and put that medallion of beauty away. We've already got one of those. We've got, uh, those legumes of life and longevity. We were insulted for purchasing them. But, well, ignorant common people... There's a reason why, uh, insert insult here. Go ahead and take that, and you are wielding an arcane mace, because of course you are. You know what, why don't you go ahead and carry both of those stabs? I'm not particularly worried. After all, I do kick a lot of ass. It's true. The character build I selected managed to be rather effective, all things considered. Of course, we have suffered our share of failures and setbacks. Grimith here, level 41. A wide variety of attributes. He is very firmly on the good alignment. Good for him, right? And our John Brown Gordon look-alike there. Age of 20, he's already accomplished so much. 
We are Haggle Master, with some minor persuasion skill and a bit of melee skill, which we really haven't made use out of, courtesy of the fact that, uh, well, you may recall that uh, my unique facet uh, results in more critical failures. Uh, but we get 10% more experience points. The level cap is 50, so we won't be benefiting from that for much longer. <laughs> Auto level scheme, whatever. Oh yes, and our magic consists of Get Wreck Kid. We have some teleportation, which we've been using to great effect. Divine Magic, which would allow me to identify an identified item that I just put in here. Unfortunately, everything's all completely sorted itself now. I don't think there was anything else that's unidentified. And if there is, well, I mean, really, I think it'll be okay. Small arcane plate mail. Ways too much. Don't slow me down. So there's that. We have C contents, which we can use to reveal the contents of the container to determine whether it's going to be worth doing anything with it. We can sense hidden for invisible creatures and stuff. That's cool. We, of course, have the incredible powers of necromancy, and I just harm everything to death. And we have, uh, Tempest Fugget. These abilities I really haven't used. I don't much like their fatigue drink. Well, let me rephrase that. I've hastened myself plenty of times. Anywho. That, uh... Hmm. There we go. Oh, something's blocking me. Alright, that's cool. It's not really cool. I can respect that, though. Suppose I could have tried teleporting to a location right next to Sinon? <sighs> Makes sense that they want you to walk there, though. I can respect that. Interesting. Nah, it doesn't matter. Okay! Virgil loves me. Jormunda's amiable. Let's go ahead and save the game. Haven't done that for a bit. Dark elf guards who are most courteous towards me. I am wearing the smoking jacket. I mean, I guess ostensibly I could remove the smoking jacket. Why don't I go ahead and hasten myself? I'll keep on the smoking jacket. Hello. Maybe it is. I'm here to see Min Goran. You are aware of the procedure. Where is your amulet, Malachian? Here it is, shown the amulet of Malachian hand. I'm glad I carry one of those with me. You are most generous. Hey, how about that? I knew they'd come in handy at some point. Your disposal, sir. Where is everyone? Your village seems a bit empty. What is that information to you and just who are you? I am the Balakian Hand, I suppose I was simply curious. Then you should know what we are trying to accomplish. It would be very difficult to achieve our goals were we to stay in our village, but it not. Besides, if the location of our village ever became known by our enemies, they would not hesitate to attack. It is best to not congregate more than necessary, not only for our safety, but to assure our task is brought to completion. Thank you for the information. That was me being a little uh, nosy noser there. Take a look at the logbook. Uh, well, we located that. Obtained a copy of the book. Uh, right. These quests. Those don't matter. I'm not gonna find a cure. I'm not gonna figure out the why tech church murder. Yeah, right. I do love how we slowly regain fatigue while having this haste active. Yeah, I guess I just vaxed nosy. Sure. Yes, what is it, sir? Hello, may I ask you a question? What do you need, sir? What can I tell you about the Dark Elves? Ask again and I'll show you something about them. Uh. <laughs> uh. Right. Sir, my pleasure. I don't need anything. 
Let's look for people with interesting labels. Nothing of interest in here. Eh, that's a good thing I carry around that amulet with me. Thought it might be a good idea, and lo and behold. <laughs> It'd be funny if I walked up to the front gate. Yeah, sure, just show me your Rilakian hand. Oh, I dropped it somewhere. <laughs> I guess that was dumb. <laughs> Hello to you. Ooh. Voice acting. Hello, madam. Might I ask who you are? I am Zan Aluren, warrior priestess of the Dark Elves. And who are you, stranger? You've never before seen the trees of Sanang. Of that, I am certain. Hmm. What the hell? I'll be honest. If the if my my legendary name is spreading around, then I'll just have to kill people or load. Hmm. Honesty. You surprise me. You take a large risk in exposing yourself to me, especially considering what you are. I've always found honesty to be the only road to real truth. Impressive. That is a lesson that few learn in this life, although it seems so very, very simple. Oftentimes we walk in the shadows while trying to see the light, afraid of facing it before we really understand it. But both the journey and the goal are important, and rarely can we separate the two. I agree. And what about you? What is it you see? I... I see things. When you walked into Sinang, I saw something around you. A great latticework of wood and iron, and it carried a great weight which weighed nothing at all. These are the visions I see. What they mean, I don't always know. But I do know that you are somehow important to me. Not creepy at all. Why? What answers are you seeking, uh, elf with apostrophes in her name? Because of course, because you're an elf. What do you know of the Dark Elves? Do you know the differences between us and our cousins in Kintara? Yes, I know of the philosophical differences. Then you know that the Dark Elves, like Aranax, want Arcanum to once again be ruled by Elves, and Elves only. They will stop at nothing to make this a reality. They've already done much, and are still doing so. Meanwhile, that guard, doing God's work right there. You keep saying they. Aren't you a Dark Elf, Zana Luren? Yes. Yes, I am. I am a dark elf. Sometimes that is a burden. I... I don't know exactly what I believe anymore. I see visions, and these visions tell me that there is something very wrong with what the dark elves are working for. Something very wrong with all that they have done. Then perhaps your place is not here among them. Perhaps not. I do not wish to betray them, nor do I wish to betray myself, or you. And I can't say that in the end, I won't betray one or all. Perhaps it is best that I leave all of this. I wonder if my line will be a problem. I also think I have like a follower's handicap. Maybe Virgil doesn't count towards that. Uh, well, if it's answers that we both seek, then why don't you join me? You would have me, knowing I can make you no promises? Knowing that my own answers will always come first? And you have no idea where we are going. And I will not tell you. Not yet. Not until I am sure of the right choice. Look, if I really need answers, I can ask a far more, uh, reliable source than you. The internet. Did you know that we are being watched, Zana Loren? Watched. By hundreds. Yes. Yes, it's true, Oracle. It's true. Will you come with me? No. I don't think that I'm interested in traveling with someone as morally rigid as yourself. I didn't think so. Was there anything else? I must take my leave. I'm such a morally rigid person, everyone. All of the cool people of the voice acting that I like, they won't travel with me. But that Magnus, that Magnus was willing to come along, and of course he was, because he was stupid. This is what I get for doing nice things. I'm also glad I wear a placard. Uh, around my neck 
Uh, or like in a sleeve of my smoking jacket, which uh, describes all of the good deeds I've done. Though I suppose, to be fair, if anyone would know about them, it would be the Oracle, right? How do you do, sir? Kicks the around. You bruise my toe. You will pay for that infraction. Mongrel. All right. Fancy. So clearly, in order for me to have the cool people on my team, I'd have to be less morally rigid. Although, I will say, I am very morally flexible. <laughs> my reputation was built on merely a confluence of circumstances which benefited me. I think they have. I guess I just need to start vaporizing people. If you didn't whelp, you have no business addressing me. Hi. He is Mog Slave here. Uh... uh... Is that why you have not destroyed this insulting creature? Want kill him, kill much, hate hells, all these here, very bad joys, no can fight, big spell, big magic, make no fight. No can fight with elves, makes much pain, much pain. Who's holding you through magic? All Nor, Dark Mage, very strong, me hate much. When I'm dead. No way to break the spell. Must kill him. Or can anyone kill him? Uh, perhaps. What would you do if I did? Aha. Uh -huh. I will see what I can do. I'm a, uh... Well... Magically held black chest. I mean, that could be you. You don't exactly uh, have a name that pops up, though, and I can't really converse with you. Zana Lurin. She's hanging out over there. Maybe we'll, uh... Maybe we'll get our alignment to drop at some point. Although, I'm sure it will undoubtedly increase by the good things we will do for this ogre. I wonder how successful those uh, ogres can really be. I think I've explored everything else except for that door. Yeah. Well, no, there's a light here. <laughs> Activates a bridge. Thought I'd try. Yes, a very trusting individual revealed my name. I'm so morally rigid, though. Observe my rigidity. Hello. Hello. When my guards informed me a foot soldier of the Malokian Hand was here to see me, I couldn't guess what you could possibly have to speak with me about. I've uh, come to talk about your banishment of the dwarves. What concern are a bunch of inbred dwarves to you? You should be out hunting down that blimp survivor instead of wasting my time, assassin. The BMC directly relates to our search for the blimp survivor. I think you are searching for anything to excuse the Hand's inability to locate the survivor. Uh, we're more effective when we are given all necessary information. Your attitude troubles me. We have shared our information openly with the Malokian Hand, and then you come here, accusing us of dealing deceptively with you. It is my presence that troubles you. I see the lust in your eyes. You had best leave my presence before I gouge your eyes out, you shiftless scum. You can't deny your true feelings. Your death will be slow and painful for mocking me. And so we killed Mingarad. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go a little bit into uh, the negatives there. We might have been able to go places that perhaps if we had higher persuasion, we uh, might have been able to convince Mingarad to reveal more information. But we didn't. Mingarad had nothing on her. Except for this, Stenar's escape from the void using the unfinished gate pushed her timetable back a fair amount. The dwarves are now being worked twice as hard to facilitate the imminent return of Aronax. 
Please report on your progress in regards to the Vindigroth matter. We must destroy the device in order to ensure the success of our plan. And if I had pursued other conversation angles, perhaps I could have gotten some. But this works, too. I wasn't exactly feeling in a merciful mood anyway, I must say. And death was, uh, sure to be coming. Well, Ben Garad, you got what wrecked What is it that yet. you want of me? Let me see your things. All right. I could identify this stuff. I just want it out of my inventory first. You can be light. Go team. Yeah, we'll save the game. I'm pretty committed to that. Oh, hello. I know who you are. The man before you is thin, wiry, with gray wolfish eyes. He fingers a dagger on his belt. I'm okay. You wear the end of the mocking hand, you show no respect to your master? I have no masters, you obviously know nothing of the hand traditions. Ha 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 ha! A valiant attempt, my friend. I'd have done the same thing myself had I been in your position, his face goes still. And now I'd know that my ruse hadn't worked. Did you really think the hand wouldn't recognize its prey? We've been looking for you for a long time, stranger. So you do know who I am. Who are you? He bows slightly. I am Gideon... Lair? Lair? First blade of Malachian hand. I have sought you for a long time, and me without having recovered my fatigue. I guess I could stay in this conversation forever. Still keeping my haste. And here you are, having walked into my very arms. Interesting indeed. Uh, I find it interesting that you're a mere whipping boy for the Dark Elves. He laughs, but his eyes betray his anger. The hand serves no one, stranger. The Dark Elves are our most current employers and nothing more. I suggest you keep your tongue in check. Uh, fine, but why is the Malachian hand trying to kill me? Even though, like... Yeah, sure, whatever, I'll keep my tongue in check. Why else? We are assassins, my friend. We have been contracted to kill you. Is there anything that needs to be said? But why? What did I do? Sadly, you've done nothing at all. The original contract was for a dwarf named Stenner Rockcutter, who was posing as a gnome when he boarded the IFS Zephyr. You spoke to the dwarf and so involved yourself in his affairs. We have been hunting you ever since. <laughs> okay. I've sort of been stringing along this conversation. He's one of these people. You get, like, information from him. Like, I'm... I'm whatever. Just gonna, we're just gonna blow by the trope, and we're just gonna talk. So I was merely in the wrong place at the wrong time. It would seem that way, yes. And yet you don't wonder why the Dark Elves wanted Stenar dead? That is not important to me. The Hand are assassins. We provide a service which we perform very well, and we are paid for that service upon completion of our contract. Nothing else is important, my friend. The Hand has no conscience or morality. We are death. The he death has now come to you. The Hand hasn't always been this way. He gives you a hard look. What could you possibly know of the Hand, stranger? We have been assassins for more than a thousand years. Our record is immaculate. Our techniques, those are the oldest masters. You don't know us at all. I know of the Darien Ka, Gideon. I know why the Hand left them. What? How could you? You know nothing. A mere scrap of information, an old name. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. Yes, Gideon, I do. Tell him of the book that Joachim sent you. He is silent for a long time. So you do know of our history. You may very well be the only living person outside of the Hand who knows these things. I'm not. That we once served such evil ends is a shame to us. Why was the Hand so shamed? Do you have any idea what sort of a monster that Kerrigan the Terrible was? He discovered all of the dark necromantic arts. He used to experiment on living souls, killing them, and then raising them from the dead. The Darien Ka were his evil prodigy, and we served them unquestioningly for five hundred years. We had never been told of what Kerrigan had done. And then your leader, Trellian, found something. Yes, it is said that he found the writings of Kerrigan, which described in detail the experiments he used to perform on his victims. It made Trellian sick with revulsion and despair. He vowed to destroy the Darien Ka, no matter what the cost. And yet here you are, making the same mistakes all over again. What? What do you mean? If you thought Kerrigan was bad, how about Aronox? Aronox? What the hell does Aronox have to do with any of this? He's returning. The Dark Elves are involved. Tell him everything. I see. We have been lied to once again. Some will answer for this in due time. 
He glances toward the home of Mingarad. <laughs> you don't have to worry about her. And as for you, I am deeply sorry. The hand will bother you no more. Thank you, Gideon. I was getting tired of killing you. Good luck to you. We won't be seeing each other again. I recommend you leave here as soon as you're done with your business. Goodbye. All right. We've resolved a situation in a peaceful fashion, everyone. Why? That's incredible. But, uh... I think the peace will be ended soon enough. <laughs> Good. Hello. Hi again, we still like you. I've killed your master. You big warrior Mi'kmaq have it. Bye. I gotta kill all those bad elves, guys. Which is good, because I hate elves. Boy, do I hate elves. I didn't even take off the smoking jacket. Too good. Let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, right, right, right. Magically held. Let's see if I can do anything about that. This item seems to be stuck. Well, maybe we could have found a way. I'm glad we know his name now that he's dead. Oh, well, she didn't want to join me anyway. Are you... <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now, Virgil? Are you fucking... Virgil! Oh god, I can't wait until Old Dragon describes this. Virgil! What the fuck? We're not here to help the Dark Elves, Virgil! I, uh... I don't even have any patience to try to resolve this in a, any fashion, which... Uh... You. What is it that you want of me? Yes, of course. What would you... I don't Wait. like leave... You. Wait. You. Get wrecked, kid. And you go knock out whoever you want to knock out. We're just gonna teleport out of here. Some various scrolls we can sell. Some various magical items. Alright. Well, that was very productive, everyone. What is it that you... I'm ready to get... See, and that's what you get for not following along with me. What is it that you want of me? Good day. Well, what, what is you, it that you uh... want of me? What can I answer for you? We need to find out all we can about this Aranax. We should go speak with that silver lady again. She should be able to tell us about him. Or at least what we should do next. Sounds like a great idea, Virgil. I like it. But we're not gonna save here. I will, however. Right. And she's dead now. The, uh, the ogres understandably killed her. Well, we got to hear some beautiful voice acting from multiple people who are now dead. And, uh, yeah, your, uh, I wonder if your oracular abilities helped you see that shit coming, huh? Taking that from you? 
Now you have a pleasant day. You're still alive. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could bring her back. I think I have that means. Probably have like a scroll of resurrection. Or do you have that capability? No, you don't. It'd have to be a scroll. <sighs> Fucking Virgil. And uh, as it turns out, the half ogres were a little overconfident in what they uh, could do. Turns out they couldn't destroy everyone. I could take care of the rest. I don't think I care enough, though. I think I'm good. Not annoying at all. I have retrieved a note from someone named Khan Hua addressed to Min Garad. It infers the BMC are in the void, and Stenner somehow escaped from there using an unfinished gate that the dwarves are constructing. It's in, it sounds as if the dwarves are being used as slave labor to construct a means for Aronox to return. The note also refers to Vindegroth and their attempt to retrieve some sort of device. Okay. Excuse me, I... I have something I need to talk with you about. Look, Virgil, I wanted to end a fucking video. Go on. I have to leave. There's something I need to do. Something I should have done a long time ago. What are you talking about, Virgil? Listen, I... I'm sorry things have to be this way. I stayed with you as long as I could. I, I tried to forget. But it burns within me. Won't leave me alone. I, I have to go to Caledon. If I can, I'll return to you. If not, oh, well, I wish you the best of luck. Virgil, you have so much of my equipment. Please, just tell me. Let me help. I, I'm... I'm sorry. I have no choice. I can no longer live with it. I must go and do what must be done. Farewell, living one. Virgil, wait, at least let me teleport you. Forgive me, but I must go. Virgil, you do realize that it's... Easier to... Well, Jormond, he took my keys. Would you believe this? Do you know how many voice actors we've lost? I can't carry the dialogue entirely by myself, Jormond. This is terrible. These are dark days. What am I? <laughs> All right, everyone. Ah, uh, I mean, I might load to take my stuff off of him. All the keys and equipment and crap. Ah, <sighs> ah, <sighs> ah. <sighs> Effort. <laughs>